The most exciting aspect of the Super Nintendo Mini is the inclusion of the previously unreleased Star Fox 2 or Star Wing 2 as it would have been called in the PAL territories. The game was cancelled just before its release in 1996 after Nintendo had concerns with the game's basic 3D being compared to the more powerful PlayStation 1 and Sega San. While various unfinished builds of the game have leaked onto the internet, the version on the Super Nintendo Mini represents the first time a complete build has been released to the public. Of course, reviewing a game like this can be tricky. Do I review it as a 1996 release or 2017 release? Let's try a bit of both. Star Fox 2 builds upon the original game Space Combat with a variety of new ideas that were ahead of its time. Unlike the first game where you exclusively controlled Fox, you can now choose to play six different pilots. You pick one as your main pilot and one as your wingman. Next you're presented with a map which allows you to freely fly the various points. However, there's an interesting bent. As you move across the map, the villain will fire missiles towards your home planet. If the damage meter reaches 100% or you run out of extra lives, it's game over and you have to start all over again. To avoid this outcome, you must intercept the missiles and shoot them down. In order to defeat the final boss, you have to take out various ships and planet bases. Some start out with an on-rail shooting sequence similar to the first game, while others have free-range combat that allows you to transform into a two-legged chicken-like robot. The variety of skirmishes and the aforementioned concepts makes for an extremely engaging experience. It's actually really impressive how many complex ideas that weren't common at the time are present in Star Fox 2, such as the open-ended gameplay, permanent death, and roguelike elements. Also, many concepts were later reused in other Star Fox games like the map in Star Fox Command and the chicken transformation in Star Fox Zero. A play session will only last one hour, but the higher difficulties offer additional scenarios. However, the game has an Achilles heel, a very low frame rate. The frame rate is often the teens and can drop below to the single digit range in more complex environments, making it difficult to play at times. Having said that, the fact a game this advanced could even run on the Super Nintendo is still an amazing accomplishment and these problems would have been more acceptable in 1996. But unless you're used to playing early 3D games with a low frame rate, this could still be a huge turn off. As a Super Nintendo game in 1996, Star Fox 2 is an ambitious game that pushes the system of ideas that were ahead of its time. For anyone exclusively played the Super Nintendo in 1996, this game would have blown your mind. However, as a 2017 game, Star Fox 2 is a slow, jerky experience that can be difficult to play. Star Fox 2 is really only recommended for retro game enthusiasts with a tolerance for all the 3D tech and are curious about this lost piece of Nintendo history.